Hey, what's up guys? Sam from Cubi Studios here, back in part 3 of Legacy of the Duelist. Uh, I'm just just off of recording part 2. This is still the same day for me. Different day for you guys if you're watching on YouTube. Um, I just got done talking with you guys in the chat. If you go down to the description below, you can follow me on Twitch and be all part of the action and chat with me in between recordings of my Let's Plays and all of that good stuff. And if you follow me on Twitter, which is also in the link directly below this video, You'll be able to follow and see whenever I'm tweeting, or see whenever I'm tweeting, yeah, that's what Twitter's for. See whenever I'm live on Twitch, and then interact with me as the, on there as well, because I really enjoy this whole Twitch chat thing. It's fucking awesome, because like I said, I always responded to your comments, but the comments weren't fast enough, right? I love responding to comments, and I still always will, but the Twitch is like instantaneous feedback, and I like that a lot, so I'm really happy with streaming uh, Legacy of the Duelist, and I hope you guys are too. Let me know in the comments and in the chat. Let's find out the evil spirit of the ring. Later that night, the team settled down for the campfire, and they were visited by their high school friend, Bakura. As they chatted around the, conf uh, the campfire, the conversation soon... soon Why can't I read? I'm in college, right? I can do this. Let's have a duel right now. Not for star chips, but just for a little fun. That's how you know he's a creepy fucker. Right now. If you didn't know yet, he's gonna be an evil motherfucker. And this is how you know. I'm done with that. After all the star chip stuff, it would be nice to have a duel with no strings attached. I agree. I think just a regular old duel sounds like a great idea. This is like if professional football players just like got together and they're like, you know what? Instead of playing for like the Super Bowl and money, let's just smash each other's heads in and play football. No. You fucking do the duel for star chips. Before we get started, there's a little something I'd like to share with you, especially with you, little Yugi. This is getting interesting. No, it can't be a Millennium item. Boom, I'm also an evil motherfucker. <laughs> and the magic of my Millennium Ring will now take us to the Shadow Realm. Remember when I said, this is how you know he's a creepy fucker? Because he goes, let's just duel for fun. Not for star chips, but for your motherfucking soul. Right? That's what happens here. This is what's happening. You have something I want, and I aim to take it. Kura, possessed by some unknown spirit, used the power of his Millennium Ring to lock away his friend's souls. The powers have been locked, their souls have been locked away, and now after waiting for countless centuries, the legendary Millennium Puzzle is mine. Just as Kura tried to grab the Millennium Puzzle, it started to glow, the spirit within the puzzle itself manifesting himself within Yugi. Boom. You want my Millennium Puzzle? Then you're gonna have to duel me for it, but if I win, you'll release my friends and send us all back. I agree to your ridiculous terms, Yugi, but I promise you there is more at stake here than you can comprehend. This is one shadow game that you cannot win. Literally every shadow game in the show is a shadow game that Yugi can't win. But every shadow game he wins. Also, shout out to that loading screen. That was a reference to my good old alien deck, which is not in Legacy of the Duelist yet. And that makes me sad. I didn't pay attention to who was going first. Not me. Okay, cool. I like that every, every, like in a short span of time, Yugi's deck changes like drastically in each duel. And apparently this time he switched to sucking. What kind of hand was that? I have three flame swordsmen. Why? What happened to Gaia the Fierce War, the, the fear, what's, what the fuck's that name again? I totally forgot. Steel Ogre Grotto, all of these cards are bad. And the Pharaoh should feel bad for having them in his deck. Alright, I guess we'll uh, we'll set Steel Ogre Grotto and then get fucking pummeled by Bakura. Right? That's where this is going? Boom. Headless Knight. And White Magical's Hat. Damn, that's gonna be direct attack right out of the gate. Is this gonna be the first duel of the series I lose? Get rid of Polymerization. I don't care. I'm not gonna be fusing giant great swordsmen or whatever anytime soon. Uh, 700 attack, what is this? 900. Come on! All these cards are- what? Oh, I guess I do have- I guess I just need flame manipulators. I'll keep that in my hand for now. But I will need to draw. Uh, I will need to draw but another polymerization and flame manipulator to get that to, go, to work. So I'm not- I'm not thrilled about that. The ghost- the gross ghost of fled dreams. Okay, can I? Part of the cards! I need you! 
Oh, there goes my swordsman. Never mind. I won't be summoning flame swordsman anytime soon. Anything. Literally. Okay, mirror force. There we go. Clutch. Uh, what's this attack? 1300. Okay, let's lure him. Let's bait him into attacking. Let's summon this in attack mode. Boom, check me out. Main phase one. Boom, summon you. Here we go. Change of heart. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to kill my own monster. Just desserts. That sucks. I'll take that 500. He'll take change of heart. This sucks that I'm gonna have to mirror force my own monster, but whatever. Uh, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. I did destroy four of his, though, so it's probably the most worth mirror force I've ever done. Oh, and then I got Monster Reborn. Nice! I like that this isn't banned in the campaign. I like that I can just be like, and here's fucking Mirror or er, Monster Reborn. Let's bring uh, Headless Horseman back. Or Headless Knight, which is the Headless Horseman. It's the Headless Horseman without his horse. And let's summon you, this worthless two star monster deck. What happened to Yugi's deck? Why is it so bad? Well, I don't understand what deck I'm using. Whatever, though. Cyber Commander. Let's get Dark Magician. I really need to draw some kind of power card, right? Okay, that's gonna attack him. Good for you. You killed one of the weakest monsters ever of all time. Target any number of monsters in your graveyard. Special summon them, and if you do, lose 1,000 points for each monster. Special summon by this effect. You cannot conduct your battle phase this turn. That's dumb. I don't want that. I'm already losing by life points, so I'd rather not do that. Let's do roughly a thousand points of damage here. Yeah, it'll be exactly a thousand, okay. So even after that thousand point of damage, I'm still gonna probably take damage next turn because he's probably going to just summon something directly to attack my cyber commander. And there we go. And then I'll lose this magic card. I probably should have said it, but I don't really care. I don't wanna, I didn't wanna use it. Oh, I get the background finally because we're in Duelist Kingdom. It's the duelist table things. That's cool. This is a dilemma. I guess I did a dark hole. But I want to start doing some damage, right? Even though I'm losing this uh, second monster, I'm hoping that I can do damage to him at a rate faster than he does damage to me. Okay. There's Flame Manipulator. Can't wait for him to get destroyed next turn, right? I got people tuning in and out of the chat rapid fire, or of uh, broadcasting rapid fire. That's cool, though. I hope I can convince more people to stay. Uh, another Graceful Charity. All right, so I can't wait to only get one card. Ooh, destroy all face of monsters your opponent controls. That sucks. But I like the prospect of Monster Reborn. Well, I mean, that card didn't suck. That sucks because that I have to discard it. Um, here we go. Mostly because I assume all of his monsters are stronger than all of mine. That's why I wanted Monster Reborn. So I could get a decent monster summoned. Let's attack this. Okay. Man-eater bug. Damn it. Oh, well. Ironically, he didn't choose to attack the monster I hadn't attacked with yet. Would you think that's what you would do, right? That's what I would do with Man-eater bug. And be like, okay. Well, I can save myself a thousand life points here by not destroying that thing. It's tempting. But, save yourself a lot more life points that way. Now all I need is polymerization. Hopefully. I hopefully will end the duel before I even need polymerization. There's another man eater bug. Damn it, this time he fucking wised up and it destroyed the thing that hadn't attacked yet, which sucks. I thought for sure he was a shoe in to do that every time. I guess not. Is that that? Alright, Bakura. You can just end the duel now. How do I have... Oh, that's how I have so much... So fewer cards. Each time a monster is sent to the, your opponent's graveyard and inflicts 300 damage to your opponent. Fuck off. Oh, that's actually gonna be pretty devastating. Let's discard Flame Manipulator and Polymerization. Take, uh... Let's do Pot of Greed. Give me two more cards. Hopefully... 
I gambled on a better card and I fucking lost. What is Yugi's deck right now? What is this crap? What was- were the stipulations of this rule you can only use level 2 and lower monsters? Come on now. Whatever. I- I still won. But mostly because of his monsters that I got- I used Monster Reborn on. Are you okay, Bakura? I am now, thanks to you. Where'd you get your Millennium Ring? My father picked it up on one of his trips. He told me it's from ancient Egypt. He was shopping with another merchant in Bazaar when the Millennium Ring caught his eye. The man who sold the ring said it said something to do with dual monsters, but that never made any sense to me since the card game is new and this ring is clearly ancient. When my father got it back, he gave it to me. He said he felt I was destined to have it. More like, hey, stupid kid, here's a trinket I bought on my trip. I'm supposed to love you. Got it for you. Enjoy. See you around. His signature card was Maneater Bug? What a shitty signature card. Panic attack. This guy looks like fucking Dr. Robotnik. Or Eggman. I don't remember. I didn't play either of those games from the characters I just referenced. I dreamt that Bakura went totally mental. Same here. Last time I was last time I snoozed with dueling cards under my pillow. Sleep well, guys. Even though I took you into the shadow realm. <laughs> Fucking creep. Suddenly, the team heard a scream coming from the woods. That sounded like my. How do you know, Joey? How do you know that that's her? Why is he fucking dual wielding these? What? You don't need all those star chips. Also, the amount of star chips you had to give up, like when you lost, um, it was completely arbitrary. The island's eliminators, and if you don't get out of here, he's gonna do it to you what he did to me. Check out her duelist glove. Not a star chip left. She doesn't have a duelist glove on. I am. It happened so fast. The white panic duels, I just lost it. I mean, you lost to Joey, too. You've lost to everybody on this island. She was one of my easiest victims yet. Pushed Mai to the... Where is this going? You creep. There's no excuse for pushing a girl. I've dealt with a lot of bullies in my life because I'm a tiny little brat, and I'm afraid there's only one way to deal with them. You have to stand up to them. Let's see you try your intimidation tactic is against me, panic, I don't scare easily, especially when I'm standing up for my friends. So his idea, uh, Yugi's idea of standing up to somebody was, I'm gonna go get my big brother, and he's gonna fuck you up, and then the pharaoh shows up. <laughs> Yugi, must be my lucky day. Pegasus promised a generous bounty for the Eliminator who gets to defeat you. I think he throws some extra cash for inflicting bodily harm. No, because this is a card game. I wager all the star chips I have to win Mize. Why? You're not even friends with her. So far, she showed up, she harassed Joey, and then lost to him, and then showed up with another guy to duel Joey, and then lost to him. Or then he lost to Joey. I, if I win, I'll give you all eight of her star chips because your bet makes no difference to me. What do you mean? I mean, little Yugi, is when you duel against Panic, you're putting much more than your measly star chips on the line. I can see the fear growing in your eyes. I believe you're beginning to panic. Get it? Because his name is Panic with a K and the words Panic with a C. Are you finished blowing smoke, Panic? The last time someone had the nerve to talk to me like that, I broke them in half. Panic is also Bane. Okay, this is, looks a little bit better. Snatch. What is this? Snatch Steel. Equipped only to a monster your opponent controls. Take control of the equipped monster during each of your opponent's standby faces. They gain a thousand life points. Don't know if that's worth. Pot of Greed. My favorite part of the entire original series was every fucking time someone played Pot of Greed, that they explained how Pot of Greed worked. Every time, without fail, they were like, oh, anyway, I'm going to play Pot of Greed. This is how Pot of Greed works. I'm going to use Snatch Steel, probably, to summon, uh... I'm gonna use Snatch Steel to summon Dark Magician next turn. Does it have to be face up? I like that, how... Yeah. I can play this right. Yes? No? Maybe so? Let me see if I can play it! Nope, I can't. Damn it. You control that face-up monster, though, right? I guess I'll summon Dark Magician next turn. Just kidding, not when I attack and lose all my monsters this turn, though. I will not summon him next turn. What the fuck? Oh, I thought that was Man-Eater Bug. I just read that wrong, I guess. 
Increases the attack of all def and defense of all zombie type monsters by 200 points as long as this card remains face upon the field. The attack and defense of all zombie monsters continues to increase by 200 points during each of your standby phases. This effect continues until your fourth turn after the card is activated. I'll use Snatch Steel next turn and sacrifice him for Dark Magician. That's my whole plan with Snatch Steel, is just to use it as a sacrifice for my monster. I don't want to fucking uh, give him a thousand life points, so I'd rather just use it to sacrifice. And don't activate. Ow. Curse of Dragon, how cool is that? I'd rather have Dark Magician, thanks though. Let's activate Snatch Steel. Take this. Dark Illusion. Okay, shit's happening. I mean, Dark Magician's coming out this turn either way. What was this? Negate the activation. Uh... Okay. You can't stop the summoning of Dark Magician. It's happening. Are you guys ready for the animation after every fucking turn? I hope you guys are ready for the animation that's gonna come after every turn now. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's cool that Dark Magician and Blue Eyes are animated and stuff. But you can't skip it. And so far in this series, we've already watched this approximately a hundred times. Because when you play as Yugi, your focus is to get Dark Magician out. Well, I guess not necessarily with this deck. You could, Your focus could be to get anybody. Your opponent set a monster. Activate the effect of the card. No. Swords Revealing Light's gone. Whatever will I do? Let's summon Silver Fang. No, I don't want to activate the effect of the card. And I'll attack this face down guy thing. Is that a panda? Oh well. Dark Magician! I should fucking loop in <laughs> Dark Magic Attack. Every time he attacks, I can just I should just repeat a quote of Yugi from the show saying Dark Magic Attack. Right? I could do that for now every animation, right? I could probably just that's actually a good idea that I just thought of. Thanks, me. What is this? When this card is special summoned from your graveyard by the effect of a zombie monster, you can target one spell or track card your opponent controls, destroy the target. During the end phase of the turn, this card was special summon, destroy it. Did you really summon that in attack mode just to kill my silver feet uh, thing? Silver Fang? Get fucked. You're not stopping you're not killing my silver fang. Even though Dark Magician would kill that this turn anyway, I need it. So I can summon Curse of Dragon this turn, which is a far better monster. Almost sacrificed Dark Magician in a panic, that would have been bad. Anywho. Oh wait, I can equip I almost forgot to equip Horn of the Unicorn before I uh before I did that. Shout out to the number of people watching my broadcast that just exploded. Did this get shared somewhere? Oh. Dark Magician! Dark Magic Attack! Whoops. I guess... Twitch lessons learned. Don't fucking mention the chat or they get angry. And then they immediately leave. That's okay, though. Because I appreciate the hardcore of you sticking around. I also still appreciate you if you're on YouTube. Because you're my core audience. The, uh, the base of my entire channel. Because without my YouTube audience, my Twitch channel would probably not exist. Uh, Feral Imp. Summon him, just because this duel's over. Are you panicking yet, Panic? Panic? And that's fucking dead. I guess I really didn't need to waste Dark Magician. Dark attack. Magician! Dark Magic Attack! And he needed to attack this turn anyway, so the animation was gonna happen. No matter what. Oh, is this, this is like just enough to win, too. Check that out. What a perfect play duel. You win. Your opponent's life points have been reduced to zero. Nobody beats Panic. Nobody. I mean, I just did. Yugi, you're incredible. Your Millennium Puzzle has more power than we thought. Yugi, I don't know what to say. Here, these star chips are yours. Take them. I'm sorry, but I can't accept them. I fight my own battles. My Yugi risked his life to this duel. I know, but there's no point arguing. She's way too thick-headed, but if she'd rather be booted off the island, I'll take them. You think me losing all my starships is funny, Joey Wheeler? You losing all of the time is always funny. I thought you didn't want them, Mai. Give them back. Didn't you learn anything from this duel? You can't keep your defenses up because they'll just get in between you and other people who are trying to be your friends. So you can't let your shield down just this one time? Ah. True love is a Bruin. Anyway, and I get a bunch of stuff. 
Ooh, I won Dark Mirror for us. I can't wait to not use that. Alright. The face-off. That will inevitably end with Kaiba stepping off under the edge of a thing. Oh, or I could do the DLC video. Hmm. Or the DLC duel. We skipped that. Alright, I'm gonna come back to this. This is the, if you buy the Duelist Kingdom uh, DLC, which you can find a video for that on my YouTube channel that just explains everything in the Duelist Kingdom uh, thing, you'll get this Arena of Lost Souls duel. But I'm gonna skip that because this is Yugi versus Kaiba again. So let's do this real quick. While Yugi's team works their way through the tournament, our history now turns to Seto Kaiba for a moment. As you remember, Seto Kaiba had only been defeated in Duel Monsters once by Yugi. Seto had a little brother named Mokuba, who's an annoying little shit. Pegasus kidnapped Mokuba and locked him in a dungeon to lure Seto into a trap because Pegasus is a fucking creepy pedophile dude. Kaiba boy! And it worked. As Seto made his way to the dungeon to save his brother, Pegasus sprung the trap and stole Mokuba's soul. Why didn't you just do that in the first place? That's just as bad as fucking kidnapping him, taking his soul. Seto Kaiba, do you care about your little brother's life enough to try and save his soul? Uh, yeah. You're not human. Quite human, actually. Just extraordinarily gifted. Also, I found this Millennium Eye. It gives me superpowers. Pegasus threw a handful of star chips at Kaiba. Here, you'll need these for your duel with Yugi. Why are you doing this? My reasons are none of your concern. Maybe I enjoy the struggle, watching the constant tug of war between you and Yugi boy. Or maybe I want something you're incapable of comprehending. Which is little kids. Kaiba wouldn't comprehend wanting little kids because Kaiba is not a pedophile. Talk straight, what do you want? What I want? To see if you're capable of defeating little Yugi in a duel. And only if you successfully crush him in a humiliating defeat will you get the opportunity to duel me. Then if you beat me, I promise to restore your brother's soul. For now I have no choice to play your game, but as soon as I defeat Yugi, I'll be back. And you better make good on your promise to restore my brother, because if you don't, I'll take great pleasure in separating your soul from your body in my own way. He means kill him, because Kaiba doesn't have magical abilities, and he doesn't believe in that Hocus Pocus bullshit. And with that, Pegasus had another duelist under his control to take down Yugi. Yugi and I both have chips to get to the castle, isn't that right, Yug? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finally. Grandpa, here I come. Hey guys, you're not gonna look who's blocking our way into the castle. It's Kaiba! I can't let you pass, Yugi. I've won 10 star chips, so stand aside. You may have won enough star chips to qualify for the Duelist King to play us, but I can't let you allow you to face Pegasus, he's mine. You and I are going to have one final duel, Yugi. And then next season, we're going to have another final duel. And then next season, we're going to have another, another final duel. And then in movies, we're going to also duel. It's going to be great. I'm not dueling you, I don't have to. So no longer confident that your so-called heart of the cards can help you win. You're just afraid you can't beat me a second time, you coward. Back off, he doesn't have to prove anything. Yugi said you won by tapping into the heart of the cards, and for a long time I didn't know what you meant, but now I think I do. And it took Pegasus to show me, he gave me a reason to put my heart in the cards. For the first time, I can duel with fire and passion in my heart. Yugi, you can't accept this duel. I've changed, I deserve a rematch. Give me a chance to play you now, Yugi. Let me play you for the right reasons. Interesting. The mind crush really did work. Kaiba, I accept your duel. We'll see what you've really learned. Oh, that blue eyes draw on the first turn. Kaiba really is all about the heart of the cards. Also, Yugi not summoning a monster is all about the heart of the cards. I'm sure that's Mirror Force, but just in case it's not, let's attack directly. What if I get a free direct attack like instantaneously? Nope, nope, Kariba. Never mind. The viewership went down once the duel started. Do people just like my fucking uh, narrations of the cutscenes better? Swords of Revealing Light. Okay. You do that, man. You reveal all those lights. Ooh, what the fuck is this? During your main phase, you can special summon Legion Mystical Genie of the Lamb from your hand. This card must be faced upon the field to activate and resolve this effect. Before damage calculation, if this card is being attacked by an opponent's monster, and was face down at the start of the damage step. You can target one monster your opponent controls, attacks it instead, and you proceed and proceed to damage count. Too much, too much reading. It's a lot of a fucking effect for uh, a single uh, three-star monster. Can I activate during his main, my main phase? Can I special summon it? Oh shit! Does it have to be in my hand? Oh, from your hand. 
That's dumb. Why would I have that? Why would I even summon that card in the first place? Well, I guess so I'd have two monsters. Of course he's going to attack. Damn it. This is the one time it actually makes sense because- Oh no! If only I had waited a turn and summoned Wall of Illusion instead. Would have been fine. Ugh. Things we give, or do we take for granted. Anyway, I still have over 8,000 points, so I guess that really doesn't matter. This is recording, right? The YouTube thing is still recording. Monster Reborn. <laughs> Clutch Monster Reborn on Ancient Lamp. Oh. Shit. All right, never mind. That Monster Reborn was actually Clutch. Jesus. That was an interesting turn. Can Swords of Revealing Light be done now? I'm really fucking done with Swords of Revealing Light, okay? Bet you he has another one, too. I can't be the only one. Main phase one, battle phase. Attack this. Cool, that goes back to the hand. Now that Swords of Revealing Light is gone, I should be able to land two direct attacks this turn. Just kidding, he didn't summon anything yet. So I won't be able to land two direct attacks. What's my polymerization thing? Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Nice. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I might just leave the blue eyes in my hand so I can special summon them all one turn. That'd be cool. Alright. Let's change Wall of Illusion to attack. Let's just go all in on this attack. Right? Let's just hope I can do some damage. Damn it! And the one time, or not the one time, I do this all the fucking time. Turn everything to attack. Mirror Force. I thought I called Mirror Force earlier in the duel. I guess I just fucked up. Alright. Uh, the salt is always real about Mirror Force. Can I summon fucking Saggy the dark, Ultimate Dark Clown? Alright? Jesus, let's chill out with the Dark Clown. Okay. Kaiba. Don't, I don't see why you need three Dark Clowns. Other than so you can get direct attacked by this thing. I just, if I'm playing as Kaiba, I can't beat Yugi. It just, it can't happen. Oh, yes it can, never mind, Monster Reborn. Get fucked. Wait, what am I sacrificing for? Ah, shit. Oh, this isn't strong enough to take out Cursed Dragon. Actually, this is a dumb summon. I regret everything! I use Monster Reborn too early. Well, I can at least kill that fucking winged son of a bitch. And he won't do as much damage to me this turn. In fact, he won't get a direct attack and only do 200 life point damage. So that'll buy me some time. I was just kidding, he's sacrificing that for someone's skull, so he's gonna do 700 life point damage to me now. That's rough. That's weird to sacrifice Cursed Dragon for. Oh, uh, Wall of Illusion could save me this duel, too. Sending his Sacrifice Monster back to the hand, that'd be big. But what else would be really big, though, however, is if I drew the fucking Blue Eyes White Dragon. That'd be nice. That'd be real nice. Come on. Kaiba said he had- oh, there's two. I'll take that. You can get heart of the cards all you want, but if I'm waiting to get fucking Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, That'd be nice. So it's gonna happen, this duel. There's no way I win before I get Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. I'm not gonna risk sacrificing for one of them either. Especially because Swords of Revealing Lights on the field, there's really no point to. That would be the most BS, like, summon. Like, by the way, I'm just gonna special summon Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. I really want to do it, though. Oh, from your deck to your hand. I need it to send to the graveyard, though. But I can't afford to have it be attacked directly. Well, actually, next turn, if I sacrifice... Or if I summon a blue eyes... I could get him. Oh, there we go. Silver Fang, attack. Damn it, that's not the one I want to do to attack. I really want to attack him. Okay, there's two chances now. He's got to kill something now for me to summon blue eyes ultimate, though. 
I actually probably could have turned this and killed Silver Fang. Oh, good thing I didn't, though, because Horn of the Unicorn. Damn. Didn't you just play Horn of the Unicorn? Why'd you do that? Oh, so you could summon Summon Skull. Okay. Interesting choice. Yeah, another Palmerization. Uh, I don't need that yet. I just need the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Why isn't that an achievement to beat Yugi with Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon? It could just be it could just be called finally. And that's also not how I needed to destroy. Ooh, what is this? Add Palmerization card from your deck to your hand. I already have Palmerization. I don't need that. I like that this deck seems almost focused on getting Blue Eyes Ultimate out. That's cool. There we go. Gimme. Gimme. You made your last mistake, Yugi boy. This is it. The fucking ultimate beast comes out today. What if I, if I, had, draw, if I had drawn the last... Uh... Oh, here we go. If Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon doesn't have an animation for this attack, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm also gonna be really mad if this gets Bottomless Trap Hold. You better fucking believe it. I'm gonna be mad if this gets Bottomless Trap Hold. This is the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Alright? Okay, good. For a second, I really thought I was gonna get Bottomless Trap Hold. Alright, let's summon him. Tribute summon the other White Stone of Legend, because that's now useless to me with no Blue Eyes left in my deck. There are no cards yet. Okay, there we go. Um, here we go. Let's fucking go. That actually, that flip will probably cost me the duel. However, if this doesn't kill him. Oh, but it did. One of the unicorn go back on the top of your deck, but it doesn't matter if you can't summon anything. Scapegoat. You've. Uh, did you steal that card from Joey before we started this duel? Prick. Yes, continue attack. Kill some of these scapegoats off. Although that leaves room for him to summon a monster. I'm really vulnerable with this guy in attack mode. Well, I guess not. It would need to be 2,000 to instantly kill me. I might just switch him to defense. Mystic box. Target one monster your opponent controls. And destroy the first target, then give controls. Are you kidding me? I had blue eyes ultimate for a turn. A singular turn that was in my possession. <sighs> you know, sometimes your soul is just filled with hate. And sometimes it's because you duel fucking Yugi! Does that prevent the damage this whole turn? No, okay, it was just that attack. Oh, I was gonna get real mad about Karibo. Oh, I was gonna get real mad about Karibo. <sighs> Giant Soldier of Stone, Horn of the Unicorn, is going to attack him, of course. D-spell. Okay, that helps. Kill this. See, now I'm nervous about this being in attack position. Because I only have 100 life points left. So, I'm gonna try and play defensively and put that in defense mode. Right. Okay. God. Turn change. Baller. Here we go. I don't have any level 5 or higher monsters in my deck left. Uh, I can't win in one turn anyway if I switch that into attack mode, my wall of uh, illusion. So I'll just do this, and then hope. This is actually a close duel, I like this. Except, okay, I, I guess he just gave up. So Kaiba must be standing on the fucking edge, right? Like, hey, don't do it or I'll fucking jump off. Or something like that, right? That must be what has happened. That's why he's no longer summoning stuff. Woo! <laughs> what a comeback. That was necessary. Yugi refused to finish his attack against Kaiba because he would have inflicted physical harm. When Yugi refused to attack, Kaiba struck and took the victory. 
Literally, I had that 100 life points left. Holy shit. That is awesome. I can't believe it. That sleazeball wiped Yugi out. I'm sorry about your grandpa, but you did the right thing. You would have had to hurt Kaiba, and I know your grandpa wouldn't have wanted to be saved that way. Then I guess he got what he wanted. If Yugi had done what he needed to be done, he would be entering the castle, not me. But he was too weak to follow through on his play. Pegasus' plan had worked to perfection. Good job, Kaiba boy. As you wish, I will be your next opponent. Little Yugi didn't fare nearly so well in this rematch. Do I sound like Pegasus yet? His spirit is broken, and his grandfather's soul remains mine. A duel of tears. How sad. New duelist. New deck avatar unlocked. Who cares about that? I won Karibo. Karibo is his signature card, not Dark Magician. Get out of here with that bullshit. A duel of tears. Alright. I feel like that's a good climactic uh, duel to end on. Thanks you guys for watching. Remember to share and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. All of that good stuff. Remember the links to Twitter and Twitch are in the description below. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know when I'm about to stream. And if you follow me on Twitch, you'll be able to tune in to stream. But if you subscribe on YouTube, subscribe, you'll see the edited Let's Play and cut together audio effects and all of that funny stuff that I like to do. But if you watch me on Twitch, you'll be able to tune in and chat with me in between duels. Like how I'm about to do now. If you're still in the stream, I'm not going to be done streaming. I'm just going to be done with this part three Let's Play. Because again, that's how things work. I record... And then I do some chatting and stuff. I might release my in-between chats on YouTube or something as just like a podcast of me talking to the chat. Something like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, again, share, subscribe, all of the good stuff. But above all else, make sure you have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time.